axiom in mathematics is a logical statement that is assumed to be true. They're not proven or demonstrated, and they're self-evident. So we don't prove axioms. We don't go out and get evidence for them. They're assumed to be true. And they serve as the starting points for deducing and inferring other truths. So once you have the axioms, you build the entire system based on the axioms. Those are your accepted truths. You don't have to go back and question. And one of the axioms I want to put on the table today is that black children are brilliant. Now, I'm preaching to the choir, but um, I could probably spend several hours discussing how when I put this axiom on the table, the kind of reactions and responses that I typically get. And the most frequent response is prove it. Okay? So I think the idea of proving that black children are brilliant is particularly problematic. And so I want to sort of delve into this idea of brilliance um, in my talk. And so all the comments that I make will reflect my own personal belief in the brilliance of black children as axiomatic, not a conjecture, not if, not maybe, but matter of fact. So that will provide some context to what you hear from me today. And as you see by the pictures, this applies to boys and girls. Black children are brilliant. That's just the way I see the world. That's my belief. So there are many challenges to the idea of brilliance, and I've encountered many of them in my own specialty, which is math education, um, in the field, when I bring this to the table. And it turns out that across different contexts, research policy and practice, the brilliance of black children has never, and you can check the literature, you can check the, check the historical documents, has never been accepted as axiomatic. And so the prevailing discourses about black children, and many of you will recognize this, are um, heavily invested in talking about their mathematical illiteracy, uh, their mathematical inferiority, as the primary identities for black children. So those are supposed to be synonymous. Mathematical illiterates and black children, and we don't distinguish the two. And I think that's very, very problematic, but that's the state of things in my field. And it also turns out that no matter how many examples, no matter how many instances we provide of black children's brilliance, there will never be enough examples to convince the skeptics. Okay, so there's something about providing examples that we um, have to be wary of. And I want to make a claim. And the claim is that designing effective and meaningful mathematics education for black children based on their brilliance is fundamentally different from building effective and meaningful mathematics education based on so-called racial achievement gaps and propositions about how black children differ from white and Asian children. And it turns out that the vast majority of pedagogical and curricular interventions are based on the latter and not the former. 